I'm Greg Garibrandt, President and CEO of Axos Financial and Axos Bank. Uh, we're, we've been around about 20 years and started as a digital uh, financial institution, a branchless bank, and we've evolved to a uh, multifaceted commercial and consumer bank with a securities platform as well. I've been asked to talk mostly about the digital side of our business today, and so that's what we'll do. Uh, when we started in 1999, uh, we started under the, uh, the name Bank of Internet USA, which I think tells you a lot about uh, what we were thinking is gonna be happening with the future of banking. Um, I think it took longer than we expected it to, but there wasn't a lot of the enabling technologies that were available uh, at when we started that are available now. The iPhone didn't come out for seven or eight years uh, you know, after we were formed. We had, uh, you know, we're taking checks, uh, not through remote deposit capture, but through the mail. And so there was a lot of friction associated with that business model in its early stages. We also used outsourced technology because we weren't really big enough to, to be able to afford to create our own technology associated with our, with our different platform. So uh, as we evolved and we got bigger and we continued to have success, we recognized that we needed a fairly uh, broader and uh, more substantive differentiation to our products than we had because at the early stages, we really focused on a very low cost structure and higher rates and uh, lower fees to our customers. And so when we thought about what those uh, differentiators could be, we really needed to focus on the digital user experience and a broader range of products. So in order to do that over the last uh, several years, we've brought in a number of securities-based businesses and we recently launched within our uh, banking platform or in our, our, our broader uh, financial services platform, a, uh, a, a robo-advisor, as well as a stock trading platform. So the idea behind uh, this platform that we now built is that it would have a broad range of digital products and services that would be differentiated based on the ability to integrate those products and services in a seamless way into a digital experience, and then uh, for that digital experience to be informed by data about the customer uh, based on the usage and what that customer tells us. So we now have a very large uh, product team, about 150 uh, developers and uh, you know 20 or 30 product managers that work through the very uh, different and diverse digital products that we have at the bank and, uh, the, uh, and our securities business. And so the object really is to create a one-stop shop from a digital perspective for customers so that when we acquire a customer once and we bear that acquisition cost, we can monetize that cost over a fairly wide range of products and services that are digitally enabled to our customers. I think we found that in the financial, uh, in, the, in this recent uh, COVID uh, crisis, that having an ability to rapidly modify what we were uh, saying and doing on our platform and being able to interact on a wholly digital basis with our customers without having any branch network was actually a significant benefit to us. And so I think that obviously given what's happening uh, with the uh, digitization of financial services accelerating as a result of the consumer behavioral changes that have arisen from the pandemic, I think this is a very important component of uh, a banking institution strategy that I believe we have an advantage um, in because we, we've been doing it for a long time. So for the future, we're going to continue to improve that product synthesis. So regardless of how somebody comes to us, whether they come looking for a managed portfolio product or self-directed trading or crypto trading, that they're given a broad range of lending and deposit products that are thoughtfully curated in that proprietary platform that we've developed. And that platform will continue to uh, improve those products and recommendations that will provide customers, but also to allow us to interact digitally with those customers uh, entirely uh, through the platform as well, which, uh, which makes it much more efficient for us. So overall, I think what we've gotten out of being very uh, digitally focused is we've had very strong profitability. Uh, we're more efficient than typical banks, and we certainly didn't have the, uh, the troubles that a lot of uh, the hybrid institutions or banks with heavy physical infrastructure had as they tried to adapt to the changes that we've seen uh, over, the last, uh, over the last year and a half uh, in the environment. So 
I thank you very much uh, for, uh, for, for your interest. And uh, certainly if anybody is uh, interested in talking more with us, uh, we have our uh, head of investor relations, Johnny Lai, who uh, you can look up on our website and uh, we'll be happy to talk to you. So thank you.